truth. No matter what you do, I run it. I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Big shot, man. Listen. What's good, guys? Just finished a chest and traps workout. Trap, stick, trap. And I thought I'd bring you a little tip um, for how you can do shrugs that little bit better alongside the power shrugs which you've seen me do before if you haven't check out this clip this me won't lie when i send back yeah. there's way too many bars in my head back yeah. i don't care where you come from head back take off your head back please don't say you weren't warned no we can't link up no we can't talk yeah. if you have a 16 bar full of corn and it weren't chip my money's on store so you can do them alongside the power shrugs just gets a bit more a deeper contraction allows you to control it a little bit more so check it out yeah what's good guys i thought i'd bring you some voiceover action 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 traction so basically all i'm doing on this is using a smith machine so it's controlled and leaning forward a little bit i just found that it allowed me to get a lot more of a peak contraction on the on the traps yeah it hits a little bit of the other back but you know there's nothing wrong with that if you want those big ass traps then i moved on to this next exercise which is very similar but because your chest is supported it allows you to control it a bit more um, allows you to load it a little I'd say a little bit more because then it takes the pressure off of your um, like lower back and stuff from leaning forward so as long as you've got support on the edge of the bench on the end of the bench where your feet are you should be able to load it without flipping over and looking like a moron but yeah that's a quick tip for me don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.